with Mario Lopez. What's up, y'all? I'm Mario Lopez. Joining me now on Zoom from the series Everyone is Doing Great, actress Stephen Coletti and James Lafferty. Welcome to the show, guys. How are you doing? Doing well. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you nice. Well, congrats on the show, by the way. It's out now on Hulu. Name is Everyone is Doing Great. Fun title right there. For those not familiar, uh, break down the show for us. Yeah, so um, it's about um, it's about actors who were on a sort of a t Vampire Diaries type show called Eternal, and um, it's five years after that show's ended. And these three lead actors, um, Seth, who is played by Steven, Jeremy is played by me, and Andrea is played by Alexandra Park, um, they all find themselves in very different um, sort of times in their lives. They're growing up; they're in their early thirties, and their lives aren't quite the way that they thought they were going to be for personal and professional reasons. Um, but they're still trying to remain friends um, and they are kind of feeling like that their past is pulling them sort of back and, and, and keeping them from getting to where they want to go. Um, and so they're trying to reconcile that while leaning on each other, while um, they might not be really capable of sort of being leaned on. <laughs> so relatable for those who are especially in, in, in the industry right there. Is this based on um, a real life experience from uh, one of the producers, one of the writers, I'm assuming? Well, I was going to say, it's relatable to people um, definitely who have been in the entertainment industry, but what's important for us with the show was to also kind of ground it for anybody could find it relatable in, in their sure. life as far as, you know, experiences that they've had where um, just, you know, that, that struggle in everyday life that we all have, once you, you feel like you've climbed one mountain and, and things are going to be clear up there, you know, you see the next mountain immediately and you got to climb that one. And then also if you need the help from friends, like when, like when those opportunities present themselves, like you know, uh, how are your friends doing in those situations? And, and if you're on the other side of that, like, and someone's coming to you and, 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 you know, they need help, but you're not, you don't really have the capacity at that moment. How do we juggle that? It's always that kind of awkwardness um, that, you know, is a big part of the show for us. Um, yeah, no, it's, I, it's, uh, it's a time in a person's life too, where sort of tricky. Some, some of your friends want to kind of hang on to the past. You're maybe anxious to kind of move forward and exactly. you're trying to, no, you're so trying true. to balance and uh, yeah, no, I can definitely see a, a lot of people relating to it. Now, what's the story behind the production? I read you shot two episodes and then crowdfunded the rest. Yeah, we, we shot a pilot and um, we sort of, you know, we just shot the pilot uh, with a very small sort of uh, uh, production crew and everything. And we did it with our own money. And we thought that we might take that pilot out and, you know, maybe sell it to a network or a studio. And that didn't quite work. So not to be deterred, we just sort of plowed ahead and um, we crowdfunded our budget. And right after we were done crowdfunding our budget, we moved into production um, and shot the rest of the seven episodes on like one 30 day schedule. Like you basically would like an indie film. Um, and nice. then we spent, the, we spent the next two years editing it. <laughs> I like that, man. Ambitious. Good for you guys. Um, are there plans yet for a season two or is it too early to kind of to have this conversation? I mean, we definitely have the plans for it and, and, and we're, we're um, you know, going to um, light those candles and make those wishes at night for the fans to receive the first season well so we could do that. Because, um, man, I mean, the, the indie style that we shot this first season, um, it we learned a lot along the way. It was trial and error. And um, we also, you know, met a lot of great people that came in on the cast and crew side um, to help us out, you know, and, and we're working on a shoestring budget. So we'd love to get another season, pay these people a few more bucks and get them in to do uh, some of the cool things that they did in the first season and expand on that. Um, so, you know, our minds, it's hard to kind of uh, control ourselves right now as far as talking about season two, because we've got some stuff written and we've got the excitement of knowing where it's going. But, um, you know, it, it's not up to us right now. Where did you guys shoot? We shot mostly in Los Angeles um, okay. and, and around in LA. And then we also, uh, one of the characters goes out uh, for a gig in uh, North Carolina. So we shot in Wilmington, North Carolina, which was great because we, uh, James and I spent, you know, a lot of time there working on One Tree Hill. And so yeah. we knew the area well, and we knew we, we'd be able to uh, hopefully, you know, fast track some permits and, and call in a few favors there in Wilmington to, uh, to help get our little indie shoot uh, on the ground out there. Yeah, I respect the hustle. Good job, gentlemen. Uh, Steven, a few months back, man, everyone was talking about that IG selfie with Kristen. How many pictures do you take before uh, you posted that one? You got the one <laughs> shot. That's funny. I think she, I think she snapped like about four in, in the moment there. <laughs> it was just a quick. It was <laughs> Girls just a quick love it. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, no, it was nice getting together with her and, and having dinner. Oh, no, that is nice. And uh, I know you also starred in that Taylor Swift video for White Horse. Uh, what do you think of when you hear that song? And how was that experience? Um, I mean, that experience was awesome. I, I, I saw, I, I worked on uh, that music video when um, Taylor was still, I mean, she was, she was on her rocket ship clearly and, and she was shooting to start him. But um, I was just so impressed with her and, and 
her story. I learned about, you know, the songwriting things she was doing growing up uh, for other musicians in Nashville and, and just going around and, and playing gigs at clubs and stuff like that. And now she was, she was taken off, right. When we were doing that video. So um, I knew, you know, I mean, everyone knew then, but you just kind of saw her like, Oh, this girl is going to be a, a huge star. If she wasn't already. So it's, it's nice to see her fulfill that. And um, you know, she, she's obviously an awesome person as well. Yeah. She's doing all right. She's hanging in. Yeah. Right. <laughs> James, you got engaged a few months back. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. How was the uh, wedding planning going? It's, uh, well, it's, it's not happening right now. Uh, it's really stalled out because obviously we're in a pandemic and, um, you know, we're just, we're really just enjoying being engaged right now. And, you know, we want to have a wedding when it's safe to do so and when everybody can do it, you know, and just have a good time and not to worry about anything. Um, and so right. whenever that is, I guess. Right, I'm gonna man. actually I'm gonna butt in here and say he's not allowed to get that wedding until we do a season two. So yeah, there yeah. you go. See, you got your producer hat on. I like it. How'd, Even how'd you have to give us his blessing too. So we kind of exactly. we need that as well. Exactly. How'd you meet your wife? Uh, we met. Uh, actually, I was directing on her show. She was on the Royals, um, and uh, and so I came in to direct an episode um, in season two, and then I, I came back for subsequent seasons, and we really just we really just hit it off there. Nice. So it worked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. And now she's on the show. Now she's on everyone is doing great. So it continues to be a big, you know, happy family. Keep it in the family. Good for you. All right. Before I let you go, uh, I'm going to put you guys on the spot. Quick questions, quick answers. We'll go back and forth. All right. Ooh. Favorite show you binge this past year? Ooh, this past year, this past year. Queen's Gambit. Yeah, Queen's Gambit. Definitely. And The Crown. The first season I've watched of The Crown, which was season four. I thought that was pretty, pretty okay. awesome. Go to karaoke gym. Hey, what do we do on the show? It's tricky. <laughs> oh, yeah, we actually <laughs> run DMC. We, yeah. yeah, we had a it, it's tricky moment in, on One Tree Hill, James and I back together. That was, that okay. was one of our first scenes together. So nice. I guess that, that's our go to is it's tricky. Remember, James, we, we were like we pulled some dance video or dance moves from the music video. Yeah. I remember you kind of looked at me at one point. You're like, wait, but they kind of do this on the spot. And I was like. Well, let's just try to do these dance moves. <laughs> we kind yeah. of pulled them out and had a little we choreography. Exactly, uh, we didn't exactly nail the uh, the dance moves to go along with it. Steven, did you just say you watched the fourth season of Crown, but not the first three? Correct. <laughs> you should probably go back. I'd go back. You just that just dawned I, on you. There's, right a, there's a lot of things in the fourth season that you you need the first three. So I watched the first a couple episodes, and I was like, what's, what's the deal with this family? And then I watched yeah. the documentary. <laughs> what's the deal with this family? <laughs> There's a documentary on Netflix uh, about the Windsor family. So I went and I yeah. watched that. I did my homework and I'm like, all right. Uh, no then, all right, then you're, no fine. Then you're fine. All right. <laughs> Celebrity crush growing up. Uh, mine was, um, um, oh my gosh, where do I go here? Marissa Miller. Is that her? Is that her name? Yeah, Marissa Miller. She was, was, she was a model. Miller? She was a model. She was, right? yeah, yeah, she was a model. model. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, James? yeah, yeah. Um, I think I'm going a little bit further back into childhood than Steven is, but uh, Alex Mack from The Secret World of Alex Mack. Okay, okay, I like that. Okay. <laughs> and who's your dream guest star on Everyone's Doing Great? Ooh, Ooh that's a great, that's a great question. Hmm. Marissa Miller? <laughs> yeah, that's a great answer. <laughs> James? <laughs> oh, man, man, man. Uh, I like, I don't know. What, what are some of the shows that we, that we really like, I guess like what you, somebody like Phoebe Waller-Bridge would be awesome because like, uh, that's yeah, like yeah. Okay. you know what I mean? Rob Delaney. We loved C Catastrophe. Rob Delaney would be awesome. These that are all the shows good. that like inspired us to make everyone is doing great. So we're just like, yeah, that, that, that would be awesome. But not, not Alex Mack. <laughs> oh we're yeah. But she's amazing oh, as no. well. She's amazing as well. <laughs> Put that energy out there. You never know. Well, uh, fellas, great chatting with you both. If you haven't seen it, watch. Everyone is doing great on Hulu. Stephen James, thanks for uh, checking in, guys. Thanks, man. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks All for right, having us. Really Take care. On with Mario Lopez.